What's up guys, I wanted to take uh, just a little bit of time to talk about a subject that has uh, made a big impact in my life uh, over the years as I've grown um, as a husband and as a, as a follower of Christ and as a, as a coach and an athlete and all these different things. And it's really about how we deal with failure. Um, you know, this past fall, our football team at Lake Hamilton uh, read a really good book called Chop Wood, Carry Water by Joshua Medcalf. And that book probably made just as much of an impact on me as it did the rest of our kids. And, um, you know, today I had a rough day of training. You know, I really love and take pride in my training. I'm, I'm a perfectionist. I'm a type A personality. I want everything to be uh, perfect and in line. And today was not, not like that um, at all. In fact, uh, I was doing some snatches and they were, you know, suboptimal weight. And I expected to just, you know, nail them no problem. And I was stepping all over the place. I even missed a couple of reps. I uh, just wasn't really feeling like myself. Started to get really, really frustrated um, and upset with myself. And that's when, you know, negative things start to slip into your mind. Like, man, I spend so much time on this. I should be better than I am. Um, and, you know, I'm trying to be a good example to people. I, I, shouldn't, um, I shouldn't be missing weights that are this small. Things like that. Um, things that can really get in your head if you let them fester. And so I, I took some time to sit down and just really think about what I would try to tell somebody uh, if they were in the same situation and what I have told them in the past, uh, specifically my athletes. And um, it brought me back to a chapter in Chop Wood, Carry Water uh, that's really good. And the scene kind of goes like this. Um, uh, the, the main character in the book is, is a guy named John and his sensei is a guy named Akira. And um, every day Akira encourages John to chop wood and carry water as uh, really the basis of becoming a great samurai archer and at this time in the book John is really he's not focused on his own process he's kinda letting his eyes wander and he's looking at other people and he starts to um, carry not as much water and chop as much wood as he possibly can but really just do as much as is more than everybody else and so John's carrying this water and he, and he thinks he's you know big macho guy and he trips and he falls and he loses all the water uh, and he becomes really frustrated and Akira comes up to him and this is what he says. He says, you're carrying quite a lot of water, weren't you, John? And uh, John tries to kind of play it off and he goes, you know, I, I guess I, I don't think about it. I just try to carry the most that I can. And, and Akira can see right through John and he says, is it the most that you can or is it just more than in all of the others? And, um, you know, John's face gets kind of red. He feels like he's caught in the situation. And Akira goes on to say, John, you keep getting in the way of your own potential uh, because you keep seeing everything as a test. The secret is to understand that nothing is a test, but only an opportunity to learn and grow. Many people never fulfill their potential because they look at every situation in life as a test. If you look at something as a test, then you will focus only on passing instead of maximizing the growth uh, through that experience and over time the person who is simply focused on maximizing what they can learn and how they can grow will become much greater than the person who sees life as one continual test so John he's really pondering this he kind of shrugs um, shrugs at it and, and starts to really struggle with what Akira is saying and um, Akira says don't fall for the trap John even tests in school are not tests nothing is a test it's only an illusion Everything is an opportunity to learn and grow because remember you are building your own house. And that last line is really alluding to uh, an earlier chapter in the book. Um, but, but for me, uh, and, and just like you guys and, and a lot of other people, it's probably easy to uh, compare yourself. And, and just like the other day was total opposite, right? I had a great day. I hit a PR that I was really proud of. You know, I post on all the social media just like people do. I want people to be proud of me. Um, just like I was proud of myself and um, but the reality is is that not every day you're gonna hit a PR and not, not every day are you going to um, hit these great numbers and not every day are you gonna be the best that you possibly can because every day um, is not is not like that every day in fact more days are gonna be a struggle and they're gonna be tough and they're gonna be learning experiences um, you know one of my favorite hip-hop artists Andy Minio he's a, he's a Christian uh, rapper uh, one of his lines that always sticks with me is that there's uh, there's win or learn, no losses. 
And, and that's really true if you set your mindset to that. So I just want to encourage you guys, uh, what I needed today was as you go through your training, as you go through life, as you try to accomplish certain goals, um, if you don't quite get there in the time that you think you should, uh, man, don't stress out about it. Try to take the opportunity that you maybe you know, failed in at that moment in time and try to learn from it. And if we can adopt the mindset of taking things that we were maybe a little short of in the moment and learning from it, that's what will propel us um, to get better and better and grow. So I appreciate you guys listening. Um, this is something that I really needed today. Hope that uh, is encouraging to you all.